Hi, Eric. Hello. You're the only one who says present. Very good. We have the rest of the students here saying present. Okay, in two minutes, the class will start. Okay, so hurry up. Good morning, all of you guys. Then remember that I'm going to give you this beginning of the class to say the word present and to be ready with all your stuff to take notes. All right. So in less than two minutes, I'll be with you. Okay, one more minute. One more minute and I'll be with you. All right, so let's begin, guys. I'm gonna go to the other screen and then let's start. Hello, guys, good morning. So now I am here, then with you. Welcome to my office again. This is my, my office, yeah. And then, well, uh, let me check who is here with us because we just got 34 people here, okay? Then, Eddie, you were the first one. I said hello to you in the, in the, in the beginning of the class. Then Benjamin, very good. Second one, Natalia Moctezuma, good. Cynthia, Michelle, Emilio Delgado. Then Sully, <clears throat> Metzli, JP, Stacy, Jorli, very good. <clears throat> Renata, Ashanti, Marina Sandoval, Ivania Chaires, Maria Rangel, Leo, Velis. Then Vincent, Emily, Zamora, well, Leo again, Emiliano, which is Daniel, good. Ale, very good. Dennis, Miranda, Nicole, David, uh, Brisa, Jano, Patti, Santiago Miranda, Marco Curiel, very good. Then Jimena Ranzornelas, July, good morning. Then Marquez, hello, good morning. Alex, which is Javier or, or Alex, I don't know, well, in this case it's, it's Alex. Alina, good morning. Uh, Ellie, hello. Alejandra, who is this one? Oh, Sophie. Alexis Zarate, very good. Mia, Luis Rodriguez, Caroline, and well, Caroline again. All right, we just have uh, 39 people, okay? Well, I think they are less than 39 because we have some extra people here in the class, all right? Which is not uh, which is not related just to, to second graders, all right? So guys, I just want you to to pay attention in this class because uh, the class is going to be kind of different, okay? It's not going to be grammar, it's not going to be vocabulary. So I just want you to pay attention, all right? Then guys, the, in the next class, I want you to be ready with your books. All right, if you don't have them, you have to go and, and, and grab the books, okay? So the next class, we're gonna use the books, all right, not today. I'm just telling you this because I don't wanna see like, um, like people saying, teacher, you didn't say anything about the books. Well, yeah, guess what? I'm telling you right now, okay? 
So next class, it's mandatory to have the books, the student's book and the practice book, all right? Because as you know, maybe um, it's something that I don't want, but I don't decide, okay? Something that I don't want is to finish the, the course here online, but I think, I think it's gonna be like, uh, like that. We're gonna finish here. So that's why, <coughs> oh, sorry. So that's why um, it's very important for you and for me to have the books, okay? Very good. David, Freaky Thursday, what the hell is that? No, man. It doesn't exist. <coughs> Thank you. So yeah, Freaky Thursday, I mean, it's Tuesday. Freaky Tuesday, it doesn't exist. And Freaky Friday is not gonna exist again, okay? Well, I just told you that it's very important for all of us to have the books. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, but in English, please, in English. Okay, so guys, it's very important to have the books because in the next class, we're gonna need them, all right? We're not gonna use the, um, the well, yeah, we're gonna use grammar and, and vocabulary, but then we're gonna work on the books, all right? The class, the class is gonna be um, with the books in the next class, which is tomorrow, all right? So tomorrow we have the class in the same hour as this one, which is at 10 past 10, okay? Very good. So guys, we're gonna start with, uh, come on, Caroline. Bless you, oh, it's like this one, bless you, All right? You're missing one S, David, so sorry. Oh, perfect, we have it. Bless you, teacher, thank you. Who's this uh, uh, character? Well, yeah, it's you, Ellie, but thanks a lot. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna start the, the class with, um, with something different in which I want you just to pay attention. And thank you, Ivania, thank you, Benjamin. Um, I'm gonna choose three people, yeah? And then I'm gonna check if you are here in the class or if you are not, okay? I'm gonna check if you are here or if you are not, all right? So, if I say your name, you have to tell me in the chat, like for example, I don't know, whichever, this one. Yeah, you have to tell me the answer of the information that I'm asking for, okay? Yeah, so as you know, we got like a very, like a very long weekend. Yeah, because um, Friday was a day off, all right? So I just want you to, Thank you, JP, thank you, Marco, thank you, July. Thank you, thanks a lot. It's not coronavirus, relax, yeah. It's just uh, because uh, I'm allergic to many things, you know? Okay, I'm kind of special in that, in that situation. All right, so uh, the first person in which I wanna ask you, guys, you have only one or two minutes to type, to type here, like this one, to type the answer. All right, if you don't answer, it's because you are not here. And in this way, if you don't answer in this one or two minutes, you are not going to have that like um, everything like in order, all right? You're gonna get, what? You're gonna get the absence here, okay? You're gonna get the absence here if you don't answer. So the first person in which I'm gonna take is gonna be, Marquez, Diego Marquez, could you please tell us what you did on the weekend, please? You have one and two minutes, hurry up. What do you do on the weekend? Teacher, I just stayed at home because of the quarantine. Yeah, but what do you do at home, all right? What do you do at home? Yeah, one or two minutes. I'm gonna check if you are here or if you are not, okay? Perfect, so Diego Marquez, obviously in English, you have to type or write, write everything in English on the chat. What do you do on the weekend, Marquez? What did you do? Your time is running, okay. What do you do on the weekend? Be ready for the second person, okay, please. Mm 
No, Marquez. Hmm, that's weird, you know. Yes, Lillian, if you don't answer, you have absence. All right, perfect. Now Marquez is here, very good. I played, it's in past, I played Xbox and I went with my grandfather and ate barbecue. Very good. Awesome. Thank you, Marquez. What a nice answer. I thought you were not here because you never participate, but yeah, now you are here. Very good. Nice. You have your participation. All right. The second person is, pay attention. The second person is Mia Aguilar. Mia Aguilar, could you please share with us what you did on the weekend? What do you do? What do you do? Mia Aguilar, you're welcome, Marquez. You're welcome. Mia Aguilar, what do you do on the weekend, Mia? If you stay at home, or in this case, like Diego Marquez, like uh, Diego Marquez, you said, I, I played Xbox and I went with my grandfather and ate barbecue, which is good. Yeah. Now we were like, like, like getting different stuff from this quarantine, okay? Which is good. I mean, guys, to be honest, you're not gonna die because of the coronavirus. If you ask me, that, that's what I believe. That, that's what I think, okay? The virus, corona in this case, they have existed since the beginning of the, um, of the years. <clears throat> All right, thank you. We have, we have Mia Aguilar here. I did the homework and I ate a lot and stay with my family. Very good, very, very good. So thank you, stay with my family. Very good, thank you, Mia, you are here. Then Caroline, you are a volunteer or something? I didn't ask you, but yeah, let me read it. Yeah, if you, you're a volunteer, let me read it. In my weekend, I did the homework and I play with my puppies, puppies? I think you have you have cats, right? A lot of cats. I don't know. All right, the next person and the last one, pay attention. I'm gonna choose someone who is never here. Okay, I think I have it. I think I have it. All right, the person that I want to participate here, it's... Well, no. Okay, Ivania Chaires, please hurry up. Ivania Chaires, could you please share with us what um, No, Leo, you didn't listen, you didn't pay attention or what? Pay attention, I told you. Three people, only three people. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Eli. It's because it's because you don't pay attention, Leo. I told you three people. Three people is not all the people. Okay, so yeah, Ivania Chaires, could you please share with us what you did? What you did on the weekend? It's not for all the people, guys. Why are you answering? Yeah. Then, well, okay, Leo. Forgive you. I forgive you. Stacy, it was not for you the, the question, but yeah, thanks a lot. All right, Ivania Chaires, we have it here. Good. I draw something. I played video games with my sister and I cooked a cake. Very good. Was the cake good or not? Hmm, that's a question. All right, so, well, I think that the biggest part of the group are here because you are answering. If I don't, if I don't ask you, you're answering, which is good, yeah. Then Stacy, I watched and played with my dog, with is like with H at the end, okay? I played Xbox and I done, I did the homework and I ate a lot, very good, thank you. Then Lillian, thanks for your answer. I went to the pool and did homework and watch series. Very good. All right, so now let's continue. 
we're going to continue with uh with the class right i want you to pay attention in this uh class because it's going to be kind of different i'm going to explain you something in which you have to to do it in this um in this way pay attention this is going to be the, the way for you to do the class okay to do the the, the class work right pay attention listen all the stuff you have to do here I'm gonna put the slides in PowerPoint and then you have to, um, you're gonna see a picture, all right? You're gonna see a picture and then you're gonna write picture number one and the answer, okay? Picture number two and then the answer, picture number three and then the answer, all right? This is the way that I want you to do and this is the way you have to take notes, all right? Every single picture, I'm gonna uh, ask you something and then you have to, you have to um, to answer the question that I'm gonna ask you in the picture, okay? So very good. The, let's begin. We're gonna start with a little bit of um, a little bit of the introduction of this topic, in which is gonna be turn of this one, okay? I just want you to pay attention and take notes, guys. Remember that it's very important for you and for me too take notes okay very good so as you know this is my name my name is uh gerardo bundis i'm an english grammar teacher yeah and this is going to be the eighth english class in second grade junior high which is about comprehension teacher i don't know what is comprehension at all well this is the title guys comprehension okay what is comprehension comprehension is not grammar comprehension is not vocabulary comprehension is just in general this what's comprehension yeah it's the ability i want you to copy all this slide please what is comprehension well we're gonna we're gonna speak we're gonna talk about like about comprehension the uh, the rest of the class okay so it's very important for you to 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 know what is it okay and the answer is the ability to understand completely and be familiar with the situation, with facts, with um, with something, with whatever, okay? Again, what is comprehension? Comprehension is the ability to understand completely and be familiar with the situation, facts, or something in general, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Et cetera, that's, that's a good word. Okay, so in general, guys, that is comprehension. All right, it's not grammar, it's not vocabulary, but it's the ability to understand something in general, okay, and to be familiar with. All right, perfect. Like for for example, you're gonna you're gonna say, teacher, I really comprehend. It's a verb. I really comprehend uh, your point of view. Yeah, well, thank you. You're familiar with, all right? You understood my point of view, okay? So that is to comprehend, to analyze, to think. Yeah, in general, that is comprehension, all right? So that is the, the, the only meaning, okay? That is the meaning that I want you to, to keep in your mind because maybe in the exam, in the test that I'm gonna apply, um, you have to memorize this uh, meaning, right? What is comprehension, okay? Now, guys, in second time, the next slides that I'm gonna uh, uh, put here, they're gonna be, only images with a question, right? What do you have to do with the images? You have to analyze the image and then answer the question. You're gonna comprehend, you're gonna understand the situation and then you're gonna put in practice what is comprehension, right? You're gonna think about the, the image and then you're gonna uh, write in your stuff, not in the chat, not in the chat. You're gonna write in your, in your stuff to write, um, the right answer for you. What do you think? Okay. Then I'm gonna start asking you just one person, one person to to type the answer in the chat for each picture. Yeah, I'm gonna ask one person to type the answer. The rest of the people, please write the answer in your notebook or in your in your cell phone or in your something you're using. Okay. Picture number one, guys. Obviously, you don't have to copy the, the picture because you're not gonna draw it. That's why I told you, picture number one, and then the answer. I mean, the question. The question here is, 
how can you describe this image? Could you please understand? Could you please analyze it? Could you please look at it and tell me, how can you describe? This is a question. How can you describe this image? Okay. You're going to describe the image, yeah? Like the style that I told you. Picture number one or image number one. Then the question, which is, how can you describe this image? And then the answer, right? Analyze the, the, the picture and then tell me, how can you describe this image? One minute. I don't want you to make a description of, of a page, okay? Just one or two lines. Yeah, how can you describe it? Is it beautiful? Yeah, if it's, if it's ugly, if it's dangerous because of the mountain, if it's uh, cold, if it's hot, which is something that I don't think. Yeah, if it's um, good for you for a weekend or I don't know, just describe it, okay? 30 seconds. 30 seconds for this. Okay, guys, the person that I want, um, that I want to write all the information, this person is gonna be, Okay, Mariana Sandoval. Mariana Sandoval, could you please type your answer in the chat? How can you describe the image? Could you please, Mariana Sandoval, could you please describe it? Yes, Lilian, in the notebook. Yeah, Mariana Sandoval in the notebook. But you, Mariana, is uh, the only one who is going to type the answer here, okay? All right, very good. Thank you. You're very fast, Mariana. That's that's that is the stuff that I want you to, to be. Oh my God, Mariana, I don't really like your image. That's a bad thing. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna ignore the I'm gonna ignore the the, the person with 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 glasses. All right, it is very big, green, a quiet place, very high, it is very beautiful. It is a place where I would hang out because it is very cool. All right, perfect. Thank you, Mariana. You were uh, chosen by me for the first um, picture. Okay, Stacy, it's not for you, just for the person that I say, okay? Very good. Um, how is this written? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be like in your, in your stuff. Thank you, Mariana. All right, picture number two, pay attention. Picture number two. Picture number two which is this one. Are you guys ready? Picture number two. All right, so the second picture is this one. Analyze the picture, guys. Analyze it, then it says, what will you do? The, the question is different, okay? So you have to write picture number two and then the question, then the answer, right? What will you do if you were here? Think about it, just imagine yourself here in this part of the picture or in this part or maybe swimming, I don't know. It's gonna be up to you. Imagine yourself there and then tell me what would you do if you were there, okay? If you ask me, I would set on fire, yeah, and then with uh, marshmallow, I would eat them. Then maybe drinking coffee or tea with my friends, or with, my, with my family over here, then go fishing. I would I would go fishing here, and then well, hanging out with my family and with my relatives and with my best friends. Okay, that's the stuff that I that I would say. Okay, so now the person who is gonna write the answer on the chat is the person who is gonna write the answer in the chat is Eric. Eric Sandoval, no, Eric Sanchez, it's not Sandoval. Eric Sanchez, could you please write the answer on the chat, please? Eric Sanchez, this is for you. Type the information, type your answer in the chat, please. What would you do if you were in this beautiful place? What would you do? Many things, guys. This is beautiful, isn't it? Perfect. Oh, yeah, over here, teacher, well, yeah, very good. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think so, David, because Axel is here. Axel is here. So, well. Good. So, Benjamin, I can do it in Word, right? Yes, Benjamin, you can do it. Very good. Eric, this question was for you, man, and then I don't have your answer yet. Okay. Hurry up. Remember, guys, that at the end of the class, you have to send me all the questions, yeah, with the answer, obviously, of picture number one, picture number two, picture number three, picture four, blah, 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 okay? So I'm going to put this light again. I'm going to put this light again, and this way I'm waiting for, oh, okay, I have it, Eric, very good. I just have it. Awesome, Eric Salvador, good. It says over here. I would hang out with my family and friends, spend time with them, take photos and eat lunch. Hmm. Perfect. Nice answer, man. Nice answer. A nice coyote or fox. What is that in the picture? Very good. Okay. So ready for the next picture? Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. All right. The next picture is this one. Pay attention. What a colorful place. Analyze the situation. Remember, you have to comprehend. In general, it's comprehension, okay? Would you build a cabin in this beautiful place? Teacher, I don't know what's a cabin. A cabin like, like where the pilot is? No. A cabin in this place, in this case, is going to be a house made of wood. Like when you go to, to Masa Mitla or when you go to Tapalpa, you can rent a cabin, all right? Is a house made of wood. That is a cabin. Now the question says, would you build, would you build a cabin in this beautiful place? I would say yes. Where? Well, over here next to this pine, over here, or tree. I don't know what is it. Yeah. And in this case, imagine in the morning, yeah, when you wake up, you can see the, the lake here. I think you, you're gonna have a lot of mosquitoes there. Yeah, well, I don't think so because it's kind, kind of cold. So yeah, I would build the cabin here in this part or over here in front of, of, of all this information that I told you. I would uh, build it here, yeah, to spend time with my family, yeah. You have to tell me why, okay? And the person in this case to answer this question is the person who is gonna answer is someone that okay natalia moctezuma hurry up natalia moctezuma you have to answer this you have to tell me if you built a cabin there why and why not okay so the rest of the group remember you have to write the answer in your notebook or in your something to write because at the end of the class you're going to send them to me okay so good, Natalia Moctezuma, we are waiting for you. Okay, good. Teacher, I thought that you couldn't see my comments. Yes, Axel, I can. Yes, Axel, thank you. JP, yes, they are. No, he's not, Sebastian is not. All right, Natalia, we have your answer here. Yes, I will build because it's a place, it's a beautiful place and relaxing awesome natalia thank you you are here in the class which is good very good all right remember guys the rest of the group you have to pay attention in the slides because you have to answer the, the all the information in your notebook okay at the end of the class you have to uh send them to me all right next slide next slide very good are you ready for the next picture do not cry please Okay, just imagine yourself in front of these two kids, all right? The question is, what would you do if you were there? There in front of the, the boys, all right? What would you do? Would you give them food? Would you give them money? Would you ignore them? Ah, hard question, huh? What would you do? What would you do if you were here? In front of all these kids, imagine. 
All right, they are dying of hunger. Okay, so what will you do? And the person, the right person who needs to write the answer on the chat is Axel Pegueros. Hurry up, Axel Pegueros. What would you do if you were there? What would you do if you were there? Could you please share with us your answer, please, Axel? Share with us, Axel. Please. What would you do? Just imagine yourself in front in front of this beautiful uh, face, this cute face, like asking for something, asking for help in general. All right. Oh my God, that's that's very hard. I would do as best as I can. If it is in my hands, I would do it. Yeah, so sad. So Axel, please, I'm waiting for your for your answer. The rest of the group, could you please uh, write your answer in your stuff? You're using if you're using Word, if you're using something else, could you please, Axel? I'm waiting for you, man. No, Axel, hello. All right, this is so short. Okay, good. Look for food and water to give it to them. All right, that's a very good, good answer. That's a, a very good answer, but, uh, well, yeah. That's your answer, good. All right, so ready for the next question? That was a picture number four, guys. Remember, you have to you have to write picture number two, picture number one, picture number three, blah blah blah. Okay, good. Next one. Next image. There you go. Ready, set, go. Huh. Now the question is: Would you push a person from this hill? Imagine you are you are this person, the person who is about to kick the other one, and then you have in front of you someone you really hate, someone you really hate, and someone you you don't talk to to him or to her too much. Okay, so would you push a person? Why? Okay, you have to tell me if it is yes. Tell me why. If it is no, teacher, I wouldn't. Tell me why, okay? And the person that I want to participate here, it's going to be the person that I want to participate. In this case, is going to be a boy. And in this case, it's for Marco Curiel. Marco Curiel, would you push a person you really hate? Yes. And why not, okay? Yes and why, and no, why not, okay? Please, hurry up, Marco Curiel. The rest of the people, please uh, write the answers in your in your notebook, please. Would you push a person? If you ask me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't push anyone. Why? Because um, number one is not good, all right? And then maybe what, what happens if that person uh, died? What happened? You're going to go to the hell. Because remember that in the Ten Commandments, in the Ten Commandments, it's like you don't kill, okay? Don't kill. Don't kill what? Don't kill anyone, all right? So, yeah, I wouldn't do it because of many things. It doesn't matter if I really hate that person. I wouldn't do it. All right. So Ax, I mean, it's not Axel. Axel, you already finished with the with the with the participation. So Marco Curiel, let me see your answer, please. No, because it's homicide. All right. Yeah, homicide. Very good. So it's murder. Very good, Marco Curiel. Yeah, thank you. You are in the class, which is something very good. All right. Then let's go and move on to 
the last picture, okay? With the last picture. The last picture is about, yeah, kill is a, a sin, yeah, a sin is not a sign. Kill is a sin, very good. Yeah, David, kill is a sin. Seven sins, exactly. All right, so let's move on to the last uh, picture and then let me check who is participating here. And if you're not participating, all right, I know I have the last person for the picture. Believe it or not, someone who never participates here. Okay, and the last picture is, the last picture is this one. Have you ever been a good person? Guys, <clears throat> in this picture, I just want you to, to analyze. Since you remember uh, your, your life, okay? Like for example, when you were like four or maybe three years old, to be honest, if you ask me, I remember my life when I, uh, when I was four years old. When I was four years old, when I got into the kindergarten, yeah, that is the last period that I can remember. Yeah. When I was the first day of my, of my school, kindergarten, I was, I was four years old. Yeah. And I, and I can remember those days. But if you ask me, go a little bit more like in the past, mm, I can't. It's, it's kind of hard. I don't know. There, there's, there's something like uh, with a name, but I don't know exactly uh, how, can, how can I explain this. Maybe the teacher Juan Carlos can, can help you. All right, guys, go back since you have memory, yeah, okay, and ask yourself this question. Have you ever been a good person? A good person, guys, is not only, is not only like um, to not kill, to not lie, no. A good person is like, if you have treated like in a good way the, the rest of the people, if you have answered in a good way, if you have been a good child or son or, or, or daughter, okay, so analyze it. In this one, in this question, guys, I want you to, to write at least three lines, okay? In this one, I want you to, to write at least three lines, okay? And in this case, that person, that person is not going to be chosen by me, all right? So nobody is going to write the information in the chat. So listen to me. I really like this phrase. At the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm a good person. I'm not perfect by any means, but my intentions are good. My heart is pure and I love heart with everything I've got. All right. So what is this, guys? If you have something, if it is one peso or if it is one million, yeah, you have to be like the same. You have to be, um, you have to love with the stuff you have. Okay then it doesn't matter what you have, okay? You have to be a good person. Just because you have one peso or because you have one million, yeah, you're gonna be different? No, all right? The difference with someone who has one peso or a peso and someone who has one million or a million, yeah, the difference is just the money. Yeah, but in general, guys, at the end, it says at the end of the day, what is something you're going to take? Are you going to take your million of pesos and then you're going to take it to the heaven or to the hell? No. All right. At the end of the day, the acts or the actions you've been doing here in the, on earth, they're going to be the same if you were millionaire or if you were normal per a normal person or if you were poor. Okay. So money and objects and power, it doesn't count, all right? So it doesn't matter here if you have one peso or 10 pesos or 20 pesos or if you have a Ferrari or if you have a pochito, yeah? It's going to be the same, all right? 
So the question is, have you ever been a good person? Guys, three lines. Since you have memory, write it in your notebook, and this is the activity, okay? This is gonna be the activity that I want you to, to send me today. Uh, send the writing explaining if you have been a good person, why and why not, okay? Guys, remember, we are not perfect, okay? We are not perfect. And human beings in general, imperfection, it's, it's around us, okay? So nobody is perfect. The only, the only uh, perfection that I can say, and it's not because I'm saying it, it's because of history, is God. Okay, that is the, the only perfection in, in the whole world and in the whole life, all right? Then the second activity that I want you to send is all the questions answered. Like, for example, the, the stuff that I told you guys. Picture number one, the question and the answer. Picture number two, the question and the answer. Picture number three, blah, 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 blah. And then this is the information that I want you to send me, okay? The questions with the answer and a little bit no, not a little, a short writing explaining if you have been a good person, why and why not, okay? Remember, um, guys, a person with no mistakes doesn't exist. Just to let you know, okay? A person with, with no mistakes doesn't exist. Easy as that, okay? So, as easy as that, no one is going to put the answer. No, nobody, Lillian, nobody. Uh, this answer is gonna be for you. Then what? Oh, hours, Dennis, yeah. You have 24 hours to send me this information, guys, okay? You have only 24 hours to send me this information. The only stuff that I want your attention here, guys, is that, um, if you have made a mistake, or if you have done a mistake, no, made a mistake. If you have made a mistake in life, and if you do it again, something weird is happening here, okay? Something weird is happening here. In your, in inside, you have a world, yeah? And something weird is happening here. So guys, to have mistakes in life is not bad. We are not perfect, okay? Thanks for, I mean, Thanks to those mistakes, we are better people. Well, if you want to be a better person, okay? But guys, in general, mistakes are done, no, not made, are done to for us to be a better person, okay? So imagine a person with, with no mistakes, God, all right? So in general, guys, just, just as an advice, if you have made a, a mistake, yeah, in your life, don't live with it, okay? Just like, all right, I made this mistake, it's not gonna happen again. And if it happens again, if you really want to, 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 to get over it, yeah, do your best and don't do it again, if you want it, okay? Because thanks to mistakes, we are we are like a better person. Okay. Okay. We have we have a comment here that I want you to share. I want you to listen to it. All right, Ellie. Thanks for sharing. Mistakes can be made, and you can always fix them. Exactly. That's the stuff that I was telling you. Very good, Ellie. They will help you grow as a person and improve yourself. Exactly. You're gonna be better in general. Yeah. Learn better for you and others. Perfect, Ellie, you have a check in my list, all right? Thank you, Ellie, nice. Guys, in general, the, the mistakes, they're gonna be helpful for us, okay? They're gonna be helpful for us, okay? Then, uh, Lillian, the first activity is, you have to send me at least three, in three lines, all the information if you have been like a good person or not that is the first one and the second activity you have to send me the the questions of the pictures with the answer that's it that's that's all oh come on alexis you already arrived you are going to be the next person for the questions okay in the next in the next class guys don't forget don't forget to grab your books in the next class because 
because we're gonna need them, all right? Don't forget to grab the books because we're gonna need them, all right? Yes, David, to my email, okay? Remember that all the activities are gonna be in my list, and in this way, I'm gonna get your evaluation, all right? Guys, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to be your teacher, it's a pleasure, I really enjoy being here, yeah? But i rather, I rather being uh, with you physically, all right? If not, well, let's do our best. Remember, guys, mistakes are going to be helpful for us to be a better person. Thanks, Ellie, for your comment. It was beautiful. Yeah, and the activity and the homework, I'm going to repeat it just to finish the, the, the class, all right? The activity is a writing of three lines, at least, if you have been a good person or not. That is one. And the second activity all the answers, we, we, I mean, the questions, with the answer in each picture, right? Like picture number one, the question and the answer. All of this in my email, right? David, ask your classmates for my email. Yeah, because I've been giving like uh, my email many times before. Ask your classmates and then go well, send them to me, all right? Guys, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Please be careful. You, you're gonna use the books tomorrow. Yeah, and well, welcome again to these online classes, and I really miss you, believe it or not. See you later. Good vibes for all of you. Take care of yourself. If not, well, be careful, all right? Goodbye. Behave yourself good. If you don't behave yourself good, let me know. Goodbye. See ya.